You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have a great show today for you. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. If you can't load up and come here, then come. Take the journey with me. Oh, these Ozarks. There's no place on earth to match this area. Crystal springs by the hundreds and even more caves. The Ozarks are sights, sounds, and scenery. White Oak Holler where the drinking water rolled out from under the hill. Not had water that good since. Blooms are all aglow, soft drafts of perfumed light, blue sky, white sun, and rolling green hills. Oh, the wind blowing makes the treetops talk. Mm -mm. The changing seasons pulls us like a magnet to new adventure. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Oh, life is now in session. Self-esteem is at the heart of all human relations and activity. Think of this new twist on an old saying. If I give a hungry woman a fish, she won't be hungry. If I teach her how to fish, she'll never be hungry. But if I create conditions with, in which she teaches herself how to fish, she'll never be hungry and she may have enhanced self-esteem. A hungry man given food, he's no longer hungry, but he does not necessarily have any better feeling about his own ability to feed himself. This is not to say that we should not be generous it is to only point out that these acts do not inevitably lead to increased self-esteem. So I can create conditions within which it is easier for them to enhance their own self-esteem. We were born to make manifest the glory that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in every one. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I always said, you don't know how much a horse can pull till you hook him to a heavy load. I remember as a young man my love of construction and to do the task of building homes and apartments from the ground up. I would have to lose any fear of heights. This is what I love to do. So one, two, then three stories. I always ask myself, who am I to be and not to be? I wanted to follow the impulses of my own heart. I always said, who will play your music if you don't? Into the unknown I went. I said, who is going to play the music 
if I don't do it myself? So again, who will play your music if you don't do it yourself? This is your gift. Don't waste it. When we reach this moment of turning in our life, we are often asked to go beyond our skills to do the opposite of what has gone before. If we have been unfocused, this is the time for focus. If we've been driven to succeed, this is the time for space. And our art may not be music. It may be a quality of caring that we offer, like CNAs do, or a capacity to listen deeply to the concerns of others, or simply the wonder and beauty we awaken in the world through a flower or a tree, creating our lives so that they are a re reflection of what we love, that's child's play for the heart there. <laughs> Any path is only a path. And there is no affront to oneself or to others in dropping it. If that is what your heart tells you, then ask yourself, does this path have a heart? If it does, the path is good. If it doesn't, it is of no use. You're not born knowing what your core needs are. I found mine, and everyone can do the same by asking some key questions about what types of experiences brought fulfillment in the past. What has made life worth living? Self-esteem is the reputation we acquire with ourselves. Integrity is having the courage and self-discipline to live by your inner truth. And what is work with love? It is to weave the cloth that threads drawn from your own heart even as if your beloved were to wear that cloth. It is to sow seeds with tenderness and to reap the harvest with joy even as if your beloved were to eat the fruit. Work is love made visible, like my mother made. This is my story I call a leaky roof. I heard of an elderly lady, wheelchair bound, diabetic, on dialysis. Oh, she lived in an old trailer. The roof leaked so bad that she had to move her wheelchair around to avoid the rain. This was a time in my life when I'd lost everything in the 2008 downturn when the government bailed out the banks, but they didn't bail you or I out. But compared to this elderly lady, I felt rich. My wife and I scraped together some money, put it in an envelope and gave it to her. I laid awake that night thinking about the difficult life that lady must have had, about the hardships she must have endured. She died a short time later. Materially, I didn't give this lady very much, but internally, I can't help but think I gave her a little bit of comfort the short time she had left. 
If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, I shall not live in vain. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 This is John Willard from the farm.